This is Dr. Andrew Jones. In this edition of Veterinary Secrets, I'm going to be discussing the cat flu, the signs, the causes, and natural solutions. The cat flu, five natural answers. The most obvious sign is a cat with a runny nose, often accompanied by swollen and runny eyes. Most cats will also be sneezing. Your cat may be lethargic and unwilling to eat or drink. The cat flu is recurring in most cases with repeated bouts of sneezing, runny eyes, and runny nose. Pictured here is my last cat, Cleo. He had recurring cat flu, and you can see the discharge in both of his eyes. There are two feline viruses that are responsible for most cases of the cat flu. A feline herpes virus, feline viral rhinotracheitis, and the feline Khaleesi virus. Some cats can be infected as kittens and constantly harbor the virus, making them prone to repeated infections. In most cases, the virus will run its course in 7 to 10 days, so supportive care is needed. This is a kitten with the cat flu, and you can see the swollen eyes. The big question then becomes, what can you do at home? Before you consider at-home remedies, ensure that your cat is at least eating and drinking. Cats can become very ill, getting a condition called hepatic lipidosis after not eating in as little as 48 hours. If your cat is still eating and drinking, then consider some of the following remedies. One of the best ways to help your cat's immune system is by ensuring adequate food intake. Warm up her favorite canned food or add a small amount, an eighth of a teaspoon of garlic. If her regular food is not appetizing, then switch to canned tuna. In veterinary practice, many a client was able to find relief with increasing moisture. Humidity is fabulous for easing congestion and improving breathing. You can use a humidifier or put your cat in the bathroom and turn up the shower. Open up your cat's clogged up airways and eyes with a few simple steps. You can use a damp cloth to wipe crusted discharge around the nose and eyes. For some cats with severe nasal congestion, I've used pediatric Otrovin. You can use one drop in each nostril three times daily for three to five days. There are two herbs which I've used many times for cats with respiratory tract infections, echinacea and lemon balm. Echinacea is the most important herb. The cat dose is one to two drops per pound three times daily of the alcohol-free tincture. Give for no longer than two weeks. Lemon balm has also been shown to have antiviral activity, the dose being 500 milligrams twice daily. The amino acid L-lysine. L-lysine has proven antiviral activity and is a mainstay in treating and curing cats with recurrent herpes virus respiratory tract infections. It comes as a veterinary paste called Enesil and is also in my supplement, Dr. Jones's Ultimate Feline Health Formula. The dose is one mil, that's 250 milligrams twice daily for at least 12 weeks. Thank you for watching this edition of Veterinary Secrets on the Cat Flu. What I want you to do now is first click that link in the box above and that can sign you up to my channel. And then you can go ahead and click that link in the box below. When you sign up for my newsletter, I can send you my free books and videos on how to heal your cats at home with my top natural remedies.